Baird first made a name for himself with this painting, The Artful Dodger, a portrait, although it's not immediately apparent, of Daryl Strawberry signing an Expo's program. The original watercolor, like most of his work, is a study of light and composition. Strawberry was apparently fond of the likeness, but he didn't buy it. Not an unusual occurrence among baseball players, it seems. Still, Baird's reputation was off and running. That was six years ago, and what started as a whim has turned into a full-time occupation. He now has produced over 30 baseball images, and he's turned it into a profitable poster business. Baird runs this business from his dwelling in the St. Henry district of Montreal. When he's not out on the road hawking his wares at various art and trade shows, he's at home packing product and shipping out orders throughout Canada and the United States. And if that isn't enough, Baird will deliver the goods as well. This Montreal gallery, for instance, does a fairly brisk trade in his work. Hey, Glenn. I've got the rest of the order for you. Baird's poster business took off thanks in large part to At the Twilight's last gleaming. I like to refer to it as my one great baseball idea, and it's definitely the piece that's gotten me well known in the States. It's, it's sort of become an American classic. I joke when I'm down there, I say it's an American classic done by a Canadian artist. And uh, they, you know, and some, maybe, maybe it takes a, somebody from out of the country to see it in a, in a, in a bit of a different way. Susan LeBlanc's office is full of Dwight Baird's work. She's director of merchandising and licensing for the Montreal Expos. It was LeBlanc who encouraged Baird to seek a wider market for his work. At our yearly meetings with other people who do my work for other clubs, I started mentioning his name and uh, showing them some of the work that he had done and thought that other clubs should also be lucky enough to have his work and to, uh, to sell it. But he needed a license to do so. So we started gradually by getting him a license here in Canada through properties and then eventually he acquired a license, a national license from New York so that he can sell his work also in the States. Baird is doing such a booming business and is such a one-man show, one wonders when he actually finds the time to do what he's supposed to do, that is, paint. I used to literally paint 15 hours a day. Now I consider myself very lucky if I paint 15 hours a week. Six years ago, painting baseball was exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to do a series on baseball. I wanted to do, uh, I wanted to cover all aspects of the game from, you know, inside the clubhouse to on the field, the bat boys, everything. And I basically did that. I did uh, 55, to, I think I did 55 paintings on baseball. And those were 55 paintings that I wanted to do. Work is what it's all about for Dwight Baird. His paintings are known for their hyper-realist quality. He uses techniques such as cross-hatching and subtle watercolors to achieve the final end. He's so good at what he does that his work is often mistaken for paper collage. This baseball painting, for instance, a tribute to 25 years of the Montreal Expos, was the first of his collage-type ensembles and remains one of his favorites. An awful lot of people walking by when I do my shows think, they're, think that it's a collage. So it's gotten to a point now when I do the shows and I hang one of them, I actually put a sign on it saying, this is not a collage, this is, this is a watercolor. And then they stop and say, oh, you know, because before they would walk by and say, oh, that's a nice collage. And I would say like, well, I think I should let them know that this, this isn't a collage. It's, I call them simulated collages. Another such painting is this homage to Cooperstown and pays tribute not only to the former greats of Major League Baseball, but also to the stars of the Negro Leagues and the Women's League of the past. This simulated collage, which has elements of Latin American and Japanese baseball, Baird calls the history of baseball around the world. It also includes a cameo appearance by Baird in his Sandlot garb. This one he calls a work in progress, if only because he's never sold it in any form. It's in praise of the Toronto Blue Jays. Baird has been working on it for two years, but has run into licensing problems with the work. Sometimes I pull it out and look at it, and there's always like different, different areas that I can go over and do a bit more work on just to give it a bit more detail or make it a bit, you know, sharpen up the contrast just so it... Uh, it lets me, you know, on those rainy days when I have nothing to do, it uh, gives me something to uh, fill in my time. I would say this would be somewhere, if you pardon the pun, in the ballpark of about $10,000.
I mean, that's what I would like to get for it. I always say, you know, people say, boy, it must be really hard to do a painting like that. And I always say, well, it's actually a lot harder to sell it. You know, I mean, I know, I know exactly how to do it. And uh, yeah, it takes time and everything. But actually, the very, you know, when I do these shows, people say, boy, that must really, it must be really hard to do something like that. And my, one of my replies is, yeah, it's, it, it's hard to do, but it's a lot harder to sell. That's why he resorts to display units like this to sell wall-hanging variants of his larger paintings, often featuring individual teams. When he's accused of being too commercial, Baird just shrugs it off. Now I have got it to a point where it's shrink-wrapped and it's cornered, and it makes a great gift for a baseball fan. You know, the one at the top, the Twilight's piece, makes a great gift for a general baseball fan. Plus I have specific teams, you know, 10 of the biggest teams. And that's, yeah, that's definitely, that's one of the things I sell into stadium stores and stuff like that. So that's, uh, yeah, it's a little bit commercial, but it's still art. Art that is aesthetically pleasing and art that sells. A perfect combination for Baird and his admirers. In Montreal, I'm Michael Whalen for TSN Sunday.